Hello there, GM Lurch Lurchington here with another episode of Star Wars Showdown on Iceball Station. We're going to return over to the other side of the island. Uh, Zavik Silverstar is just leaving Zeef's detective agency. Uh, if the car, well, you were dropped off by Junior. Um, so you've got a bit of a walk, Zavix, um, which isn't uncomfortable. You're a Pantoran and you're dressed for the weather, um, frankly. So it's a, you can offset any of the setbacks that even an evening on ice ball will cause you. So you just have. You can come in for a nightcap if you want. Oh, uh, well, he's just <laughs> leaving after he was, he was I, just in with you. Um, but, and you could summon a car if you want, but really, honestly, it's a half an hour or less, you know, stroll back through town. Um, you see that the number of stormtroopers on the streets has been reduced. There are still a few stationed at the cross ring um, and one of their armored vehicles at the entrance to the expat club uh, as you enter, but they don't uh, bother you. Uh, as you make your way uh, through the night air right. uh, to the back of the compound and up the broad steps uh, into the expat club. Uh, at this point, uh, you find that you've been here long enough that you're actually starting to recognize the various uh, models of serving droid that work around the place. Uh, you're pretty sure that you could pick and for uh, this droid that works at the front desk um, and a couple of the other ones out of a lineup of all three dozen of them uh, if you had to, though the fact that they are all quite identical uh, in appearance. Um, as you enter the main floor, she tells you that Mr. Colvar has left a message uh, and is waiting for you up in his office. Um, and as you make your way into the main room, on the ground floor, you see that all of the stormtroopers that had occupied this main bar on the bottom level, uh, you know, are gone. They're out, armored up and working. Um, the officers uh, are, however, still up in that private uh, seating area up in the back. Um, and uh, Rathamuth and Thude are down here drinking as well. I didn't edit the slide to reflect it, this. Is the ISP officer there? She is not. Um, okay. Rathamuth and Thude are down at the main bar uh, directly instead of off to the side table, uh, sitting and talk. And they wave, uh, you know, not beckoning you over, but just in greeting. Uh, I greet as them as well with the wave. Uh, and I walk up and I'm going to go into uh, Kolvar's office, meet up with him. All right, excellent. He is waiting for you. Uh, his expression seems uh, mixed. Uh, he greets you. Uh, rising from behind his desk. Uh, I'm waiting for you to come in and sit down, and then he gets drinks uh, for the two of you. He says, Master Silverstar, uh, Captain Thude was up here earlier. He's already told me about progress that he made with your Captain Warham today uh, on the race. I'm very excited about that. Uh, however, um, there's been a hitch with your application process for membership. Uh, I told you, of course, that while we were doing your finance check, um, we saw that you, of course, have the kind of, you know, liquidity that we need for a member of the expat club. Uh, a lot of it was placed in one of your trusts. Um, it seems that we can't access the funds without your direct authorization. However, uh, he puts a data pad on the desk and offers it over to you. It is, of course, for access to the Silver Star family funds, which are tied to all of the political machinations that your father and mother have been involved in since before your birth, that you have tried to stay independent of by becoming part of the Jedi Order, uh, you know, all it's those years a ago. probably bantha load of credits. Uh, well, I won't say any number. Well, then I'll, I'll, uh, I'll take a look into this. I thank you for bringing it to my attention. He says, of course. Um, you know, all of, you know, the services and your room here, of course, was part of, you know, your membership, but the services you rendered to the club, you know, have more than repaid for it. So, you know, this is a formality if you want to continue as a member of the club, certainly, you know, planning the race, 
things like this, you know, will compensate for the time you've already spent. With them. But mm. well, I much appreciate that. Speaking of the race, it's coming along quite nicely. Says I, Captain Thud, was just glowing when he came up. I have felt terrible about fighter. Both myself and Mr. Rathameth had. We thought it would be the perfect gift for him for his retirement, and we just didn't understand the extent of his injuries. Mm. Well, Perhaps if we'd done more to sell him on the medical technology that's available, he would have been able to enjoy it. But anyway, he was ecstatic. Well, I'm glad. Uh, yeah, I just came back from talking with the uh, with the huts, or at least the hut organization in the uh, in the area. Well, it looks like they're going to be giving the third fighter, or sorry, the third pilot, uh, and we'll be helping to coordinate some of the uh, or hopefully helping uh, to ho coordinate some of the marketing for this event as well. Uh, looks like uh, Vork should be coming in on the last day, so we they want to have this race. Uh, what did I say? In like three days? What was it? It's supposed to be two days. Yes, so three days. Three days. Vork, Vork is here, and he says, "You know when Vork is returned." From what I can tell, that that's what they're telling me, and they have nothing to hide. I'm sure. <laughs> he nods, allowing this, and he says, "Yes, but." If Spider wants to coordinate the race with Vork's return, he would have reason enough to be honest in this case. To consider the injury of ill timing that, I can't imagine. It. In any case, we know he'll be back before the race, surely. And this is very important information, Master Silverstar. He goes, there's the matter of the Imperial. I'm happy to see that they're out of my parlor, but less happy to see that they're patrolling the streets of Fishtown. Well, as long as I they're thought they were going to leave. I think they're going to be an issue. It says, certainly. I'm afraid, though, that if they've gotten comfortable, they won't leave even after the race is run. He goes, there are an awful lot of them. Yeah, there are quite a few. Well, I'm sure you and your companion, I haven't seen her around here recently, but I'm sure the two of you will be able to handle it. He finishes his drink and grins and says, I'm glad to see you've been making progress, Master Silverstar. It's more than Mr. Rathameth has been able to do in weeks. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing this start and seeing how this helps the area, but um, thank you very much. Uh, the One other thing I actually wanted to talk to you about was the, uh, the ownership of N4. Who actually owns N4? It says the droids, the club. It's all part of a trust. We, the members of the club, run it. I'm seeing some use for N4 more and more in my, my time here, and it'd be, be a lot easier if I could just use her myself. Do you mind if I uh, take her off your hands for you? It says, perhaps after the matter of the trust is resolved. Perhaps. Perhaps I could use her uh, just before then. Uh, would I be able to says, make a charm check? Uh, you can, yes. You make a check to see if he'll... Like, he'll allow you use of her while you're here, but, like, he's going to want to sell her, you know? If you're going it's to like, leave. I'm sure you have plenty and right of money now. All to, of the to... money you have is like money that you've taken from people here gambling and like your your actual stack is locked away, you know, like that. It's like daddy says he wants to talk to you before you're allowed to use the money. You know, you got to put the thumbprint on there and like, ah, so you're finally coming into politics, eh, Zevix? you know? Uh, oh yeah. Gosh. Yeah. You don't just get the family fortune when you've been off being a Jedi in, into your 40, you know, like, um, I'm what, off being a Jedi into my 40s. I'm so yeah. sorry to disappoint dad. I, <laughs> things are serious here on Pentora. Um, I, what, what am I just, what was I just about to look up? Holy fuck. Hold on. I, it's the cost of a protocol droid. That's what I was going to look up. Um, but that doesn't matter right now because it's the that cost of the political choice. Down. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, hold on. Very good. You're making a Rome charm check against, against his discipline. It's two reds and a purple. He likes you. You can get a couple of boosts for that uh, mm -hmm. because you saved him from those droids that were attacking you the other day, and because you're getting the uh, race up and running. Um, I mean, that would be pretty cool. Uh, yeah, but it's still two reds and a purple because he's got quite a bit of discipline. Uh, okay, so that'd be yellow, ring, green, and I can remove a setback as well, it looks like, uh, because uh, I've got Luke Talker. There aren't setbacks in this case because he is already, like, you know, well disposed. 
In fact, you've got boosts already from the he's fact that like he owes crazy. you his life and you're running the race. Yeah, you get two boosts instead okay. of any setbacks on this. Yeah, mm -hmm. the difficulty is, oh, he's actually nobody's fool. So if you're trying to charm him, it becomes three reds and a purple instead of two reds and a purple. He's got two levels of nobody's fool. So it's just very hard. There's no setback. He's just not the kind of guy who like goes over because somebody's trying to charm him. He's like, yes, that's true, but there's still the matter of the fact that we can't access you. You don't get to be in his position without like being susceptible to flattery like that. It can't work. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's the same way that like um, Spike, like his discipline. Yeah. So failure with some advantage. He's like, we'll see about it. I'm glad that she's been of use and you can continue to utilize her. But a man of your stature is surely capable of acquiring his own protocol. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, this one's been, like help. This one. been much appreciated about it, but uh, fair enough. Uh, maybe we'll get back to this a little bit later. Absolutely. Uh, he uh, asks if you'll stay for another drink first, you know, to not talk business, and then uh, he'll let you go, you know, uh, then or afterwards. Either I think, way. I think but I'd rather still... uh, ponder ponder the data pad and holding it up and, and kind of shaking it near my head, uh, and then I'm going to go off and uh, I do that. I appreciate the drink and, and the good news, and I'll see you soon. Absolutely. You have to head up many floors to the senatorial level suites uh, where you, your Silver Star suite is. Uh, you know that about halfway up uh, in some much junior suites, uh, ISB agent uh, Vanko, you know, has managed to arrange lodging for herself just through the search that you made uh, into the systems in an earlier session. Uh, if you wanted to go down that thread as well. Otherwise, you can continue straight up to the Silver Star Suite, sir. No, I think I'll go talk to the agent. Sweet. All right. Hey, um, off, off of the thing, what do uh, what was I talking to her about? Or what is it that, uh, this is the whole group. Was there anything I was doing for Z for her? Um, I I buzzed the little drug lab with the stormtroopers the other day. So if you find out what came of today. that little raid, or earlier today, that's right. So if you can find out what came of that little raid, that would probably really help Z. Other than that, I don't think so. Yeah, maybe right. say he caught you up was... on that. Last yeah, yeah, but yeah. maybe say the raid was uh, around. Maybe because why would I bring it up if I wasn't around the scene? You know, you could be right. like, I saw a bunch of speeders of racing by. What was that all about? Kind maybe you right. saw like you I were, did. I, did. You I saw them. Uh, into the city. You saw them. Yep, there you, you saw go. two of her There's tanks heading across the bay while you were heading into the city. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you stop uh, halfway up uh, the casino building uh, in much narrower but still well-appointed hallways of the junior suite level. There are a couple of stormtroopers uh, standing outside uh, one of the suites. And as you approach, they allow you access. Apparently they've been told that this might be a possibility. And uh, as the door opens, uh, you see that directly ahead of you is a narrow hallway that heads into uh, what appears to be a wider room. There's a door directly to your left uh, that is closed at present. Um, and as you head into this entry hallway uh, and back towards like the sit eating and lounge area that is the wider area, you uh, hear one of the stormtroopers pass a couple of credits uh, over to the other stormtrooper. Told you. Uh, and the door <laughs> shuts behind you. Um, uh, that's great. Agent Vanko is not present uh, when you enter, uh, but there is a fairly nice lounge with some low seating. Uh, there is a small area for meal prep. There is not a private serving droid, but one can be summoned down on this level. You know, it's not the setup you have with a space as large as Zeef's entire floor plan just for the, you know, seating and eating area, but it still laid out that way. There's a second door on the left side of the uh, wider room here, um, or doorway rather, that leads back to a hallway um, where probably the bedroom is. Uh, and you have a moment to poke around and investigate if you want, uh, as Agent Vanko is not immediately present. Wait, is she there? Am she's I, she's no, not think. right out here, no. Oh, well, internally, uh, I would basically be thinking to myself that, you know, if uh, they're already uh, betting on me, she already knows that I'm on the floor. So I'm going to go ahead and let her come out to me. All right, excellent. You just stand in there in the living room. 
Maybe not like stand, but like look around. Besides, okay. this thing. I, besides, I mean, I'm not going to see too much. We provided the suite, and they're just yeah, occupying there's, it. There's, there's no, there isn't. There's a small desk. There aren't any data pads yeah. that are like out and obvious or anything like that. You're standing off to the side. I uh, expect an ISP agent to leave that kind of stuff out anyway. No, looking at like a small, you know, piece of decor. Uh, she comes out of the hallway back from where the uh, bedroom and fresher uh, are. She is wearing everything but the armor from the combat uniform she had been wearing in the morning when she was drilling the stormtroopers uh, the other day before sending them out into the town. She's got her gloves off and she uh, looks up and down and says, you're late for that debriefing. Thought it was supposed to be last night after dinner. <laughs> Unfortunately, I couldn't make it. Um, she frowns and she says, your business here with the expats and this race is really all that pressing? Uh, currently I'm flattered. Not. I'm surprised to see I lit such a fire under you. Yeah, you, you seem to have that effect on people. How's, uh, how's things around town for you? I've noticed a lot of speeder action around. Well, I might have gotten a lead on my missing trooper, she says, but... What have you been up to? She uh, indicates that you should sit. Sits down in one of the low couches, you know, by the conversation table out here in her, you know, suite. Instead of, like, behind the desk or whatever. I feel like she's a manspreader. <laughs> like, she just sits down wide. Ow. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. <laughs> I don't know either, but it popped into my head, like... Okay, so she's sitting across there, yeah, very yep. comfortably, right? Uh, yeah, uh, really. All I wanted to talk to her about was what, what was going on in the right. thing. Yeah, um, you just got to make a check to, you know. She's, oh, she's not giving it up. That's all, you know. Charm or you know, negotiate if you want to, you know, or deceive and you know. Let's see. Let's however, see. you want to get the intel out of her. That's all. She's an ISB agent. You're not just gonna be like, I want to go talk to her, and she, <laughs> you know. Tells you everything you want. Yeah. yeah. This oh, well, might as well. It's more of, a, more of a charm. Let's see if it works again. Absolutely. There is a setback because uh, she can detect that you're only here for business. Uh, <laughs> fair she enough. Then I'll, I'll cut the chase. Um, Can't you remove you're setbacks still on the charm, charm checks? Check and she might still, he I might did. be able to erase. Yeah. So he's you're erasing that setback it. anyway. Yeah. So he, uh, but you fail. With the despair, and she's yeah. like, "Why don't we cut around the bush, Mister Silverstar? I understand that whatever reason Please, you've reason. come here for has nothing to do with myself or my troops, and I don't appreciate your prying in. Run your little race. I have bigger things to investigate here now. Troopers have gone missing. Apparently, the huts can't control this planet. There's no one in charge. I'll keep to my business." You take care of whatever yours is. Fair enough. Pretty cold. Uh, I, I'd uh, definitely, the, whatever drink she they pour, they see everybody seems to be pouring me drinks when I walk around. Uh, let's see. Just she didn't. She did not. There's, okay, say, there's no, no, no drink offering. Cool. In the junior suite, that makes sense. Cool. Well, then uh, I guess I'll get up. It's all I really can no. Do. It's you don't have to stay. Yeah. I was gonna, I was gonna say it'd be great if like Zavix misreads the long prolonged silence and like. Slowly starts moving <laughs> forward. It's just like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Don't make me use the despair. You know? oh, no. Like, I already no, I, I, know how, I know what the despair is. Like, so, Master Silvastar just closes his eyes and leans forward and she's just like pushing him. <laughs> King Homelander. <laughs> yeah. Right. So you leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I kind of want to mess with those stormtroopers that were out there placing bets on my ass. That's <coughs> do it. That's that's something I, I gotta do. What can I do on the Pick way out? Pick one of them up them? with the force and just dangle in there. They know I'm a Jedi. Um, you don't know if Bad. they know you're a Jedi or not. If they knew you were a Jedi, like on your way out, you can just like squeeze their nuts like, real there's, quick. There's no peace. They would, <laughs> like they'd be like a Jedi, and then are they standing next to, like, to each other? <laughs> It would turn it. Uh, they're standing on other sides of the Knock them door into each other real me, quick. You know, when I Mind trick it. Like, be like, you both really need to pee while they're on guard duty. Just what mind trick them. 
Hold on. He doesn't second. have mind trick. Uh, do. I don't that, have mind trick. That's some little. He doesn't Nikki have shit. mind trick. That's some <laughs> no, I've got Nikki bind shit. though. I've got bind, uh, enhance, move, sense. Don't blow your cover over something petty. Like do something yeah. they're not gonna if, know if that you did. That, listen, you know. Let me get this sentence. I was trying to get out of. If they know you're a Jedi, this turns into Jedi like outcast all of a sudden, where all the stormtroopers are just like a Jedi, blast him, and then it's oh, just okay. combat. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want to mess up. You know what mess. I mean? Like okay. they are not at well, peace gonna... with the Republic. They are not friendly towards the Jedi Order. Vong problem or not, like that doesn't matter. It's true. Okay, they they see me as like this entrepreneur guy, a mm -hmm. Pantor and entrepreneur, and that's that's right. working with the cartel here. That's a great cover. <laughs> I, I if think you wanted to come up here and get down, she would have gotten down. But if you're you're just to come like up mysteriously like lucky to them. Business, like yeah, she's if you're here to be a spy, she's not into that. She's like get the no. fuck out. You know what I mean? No. Yeah. The despair is that uh, the door to the side room is open as you leave, and you see that it's like a small like in suite like gym, but instead mm. of any exercise equipment, it's got like the padded floors and like. A small melee weapon rack, and then an enormous combat droid. Oh wow! But so it's that's not how she active. gets down. It's just, yeah. it's just there as you leave, you know. Gotcha. So yeah, it's Fixing. down. Fixing the lights. Stormtroopers, uh, Larry and uh, you know Fred out here, oh. or whatever. You know. Fredo. Right. <laughs> it's Michael. TK twenty three and TK forty seven. You know, can get goosed or whatever. <laughs> on the way out. Uh, after, Just force crush you, the nuts. As you leave after like three minutes, the, the, the credits get past that, though, is definitely their reaction to you leaving like basically immediately after entering. They're like, eh, -uh, see, I told you. So, is she, uh, that would be their reaction without. The you know, boss struck out. You, uh, you interjecting. Yeah, if you've got, if you've got some. Something to put on that. Go for it, Master Jedi. You know. No, no, that's all right. I think I'll go upstairs to my room. I've got plenty to do up there. All right. That's what a Jedi Master would do. Rise above it. <sighs> uh, uh, N four um, is uh, suspiciously distant to you during the rest of the evening, and uh, as you're uh, getting into bed, you remember that she also might have deliberately like blocked the door chime the other evening when uh, Agent Vanko had stopped by after you <laughs> missed that debriefing appointment uh, the other night. I totally uh, forgot about but, that. Yeah, she doesn't, uh, she yeah, doesn't it's on purpose. make anything of it or anything like that, you know. She's just a little, you get a little cold shoulder from the droid, uh, as it were. So um, he's been going fantastically, so yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we leave, we leave Savic there. Wait, 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 uh, before, before you leave me, uh, can I do you've something? You've got the data pad there too, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Absolutely. I've got the data pad and stuff there. I'm going to go to the office. Uh, wait, let me look at the slides real quick. Sure. Of the Silver Star Suite. The most finely appointed slide in the whole slideshow. I'm still waiting for the Zavik Silver Star Superstore. Oh, yeah. That's some season uh, three material right there. We're gonna need a bigger slideshow. All right, so you're back in the suite, Master oh, Silver Star. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go back to the suite, and instead of uh, go into the bedroom and, and definitely uh, change the layout to be okay. just like sheer black, so it's like darkness. Outside. Yeah, like the, the look is yeah dark outside. The holographic okay. display. That's fine. I'm not gonna do the thing, but sure. That's fine. You make it night. Yeah. Make it night, like super dark. Okay. Uh, the data pad down. Uh, now I can't tell what's inside of it, or they can't tell I've messed with it until until I've you it, right? actually activate it and say that you finally want access to family funds. You're gonna be like throwing your hat there in the arena, sort of thing. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. the Jedi are traditionally apolitical. The New Jedi Order. You know, they they've they've certainly aligned themselves with the New Republic at every step of the way, but like they don't have like a fleet of starfighters and star cruisers because like they don't they don't get funding from them and do missions. They don't have for some like directly. official relationship where they're like, right. Exactly, yeah. they are officially apolitical, and you know that's that's something that you've been aware of. You know, and but completely you are self governing a Jedi Master. You know what I mean? So, like. Let's, uh, so I think I'm going to do a meditation session. Okay, and you're going to consider this? 
and then sure. I'll consider it there, Sweet. and then I'll uh, I'll go ahead and. Uh, we can do the die roll next time, as you. Or, or we'll, we'll do it now because you're not going to meditate all night. You'll still sleep, or is it can replace your sleep and still recover. You know, you can meditate, and we'll roll next time to see what kind of boost it gives you. Okay. I feel like a so Jedi we'll Master could casually meditate for like eleven hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, he can do this for you know, like just before an encounter kind of thing too. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we'll roll we're, next we're, time so we re we'll recover the strain though. Yeah, you're sleeping, you're going to fully recover all your strain Great. by the time you wake up next session. 